Hey guys, this is Mike at Balsamic, and this is a tutorial uh, on creating um, mockups with symbols libraries. Um, uh, we're going to show you how to create a symbol library for page masters and custom components to use in a project, and then um, how to show you how to uh, include instances of symbols in your wireframes and override them. So to get started, we'll start with a um, creating a project folder. So this is my balsamic mockups folder and inside it there is a uh, project called symbols demo and I created my first um, mockup in there uh, called to do um, basically there's two ways to go about creating libraries um, and I'll show you real quick how that happens um, for the people who like to work fast and just throw things onto the canvas and then uh, create symbols as they go that from the bottom up um, you would create a group of uh, anything on the canvas, uh, give it a name. So this is going to be my app window. And then click this Convert to Symbol uh, button in your Property Inspector. Once you do that, um, let's see what happens. This uh, We can double click this symbol to edit it, and we see that there is a now a symbol called App Window in the Project Assets folder. So how did that get there? Um, what happens when you create a symbol this way from the bottom up um, by creating a group? Um, and confirming the group is that a symbols.bml BMML file is created for you in the assets directory. So if actually if this didn't exist, uh, this assets directory mockups are created for you and put this symbols.bmml file in there for you. Um, so that's one way to to go about creating uh, symbols. Um, I actually usually work the other way around. I'm going to get rid of this because this is not my usual way of um, creating symbols. What some people do is they um, create a symbols library in their project from scratch and then put all their components in there. Um, let's use the regular window here and we're going to call this to do. Um, and I'm going to cut this and then create a new uh, mock up here. And let's go back to the uh, symbols demo and um, let's call this to do app library all right so now that we've saved th saved this uh, library as a new file in the project assets folder to do a to do app library here anything any group I create inside this library is going to be available to me when I make mockups in this project assets um, uh, tab here so all right so let's get started I'm gonna mock this up real fast I'm gonna create the title of the view um, let's see, this is going to be title, and then we're going to have a button bar here, and then um, this hypothetical app has three views, one's to do, one is uh, starred, one is done, um, okay, and then um, change set the selection to none, um, and I'm going to group this, call it app window. Okay, so now we have one symbol in this library. Um, so, um, okay, so this looks decent. Let's save that. Um, now we'll close and go back to this first view. So the first view I have here is the app window. All right, so um, we have the beginning of a project set up here with two symbols that we can use. So what I want to do now is um, clone these, clone this mockup. So I'm going to clone this twice so I can have a view for each of these uh, buttons in the button bar. So um, I'm going to clone this one and call it starred. Clone it again and call it, call this new one done. Okay, so now we have um, we have two uh, two new views. There, this little footer got updated now. We have two new views that are using my page master called app app window. Um, that my my symbol. Um, now, what I can do is override each of the instances of the symbol to um, effect some change to uh, the properties of any of the objects that are used in that that original symbol. So. I did this. Um, I did this. Uh, set this up so that it was pretty um, basic, and um, 
you know, it just had this label called title. But what, what I want to do for this, this single mock-up here is I want to edit this group. You can either click return, press return, or double click the group. And then you get this little green bar that shows you that you're overriding the properties of this symbol called app window. So what that means is that you can change the, the title, for instance. So we're now editing the title here, and it's gonna this view is going to say to do. And we're going to edit this button bar um, by giving this uh, selection, uh, setting the selection to, to, to the to do here. And now you'll notice that there's a little green um, label next to the selection, which lets you know that you've overridden a property from of the of this uh, symbol in this instance. And you can click this revert icon if you ever want to set it back to whatever the original property was. We're going to keep it as to do. Um, also, um, we sh we could have had links in the original symbol, so. That's something that I that I want to do um, as a change that would affect all the instances that I've put in these three different mockups. So there are times when you do want to actually edit the source and have all the changes that you put in the source and you know get sp uh, spread through all of the instances that you've used. So in that case, you want to click this edit button, which will once again open up that to do app library symbol library that I created, right? And now you see this little breadcrumb up here that says you know, you're editing the app window. So um, I have three mockups now, so I can create links. So what I can do here is um, link to do to the to do wireframe, link starred to the starred wireframe, and link done to the done wireframe. Save this, close it. Uh, now we go back to this instance on the to do mockup that I created. And you see that there's a little red uh, link icons appear, which means that each of these guys has a link. And you see it over here now, to do, start, and done are linked. So that's cool. We'll exit the editing of this this guy. Um, you go to the start mock-up, and you see that those links are there now as well. Um, so let's uh, just go quickly through these, and we'll change this one to start. Change this guy to be selected to starred. Exit the editing of this override. Do the same thing for done. Edit this guy. Now it says done. Edit this guy. Selection is now done. OK, so now we have three different mockups. Um, and you'll, you have a functional links here. So if you clicked um, Alt or Option, clicked each of these links, you would actually have a click through prototype now to demonstrate, or you can go to full screen mode and demonstrate. Um, here's full screen mode. You can go to full screen and uh, here, so the linking with the big cursor. So you can demonstrate this in your um, your meetings or what have you. Um, and that's a, that's basically it. That's the the that's the way you use symbols and overrides to, 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 to make changes in each of the individual mockups. Okay, hope that helps. Um, give it a try, and if you need help, um, let us know. We're always here for you. Thanks. Bye.